Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so very much for tuning in today. Today is a Veterans Day special, and the theme of today is come along with me. Why come along with me? Because I have a come along <laughs> attached to this because, well, that's a lot of metal that I have to bend. And even though I heat it up a lot, it just takes forever to get that really, really hot and, and, and it's still pretty hard just to bend it. But one of the guys suggested, his name is Jim, and I'm just gonna say Jim T suggested this because I didn't get his permission to, to say his name. He said that, hey, if you need acetylene gas, why don't you just go ahead and, and use propane? It's a lot cheaper. Just get a propane uh, tip and it'll work just fine. So you keep watching. I'm going to show you what I found for a propane tip. Yeah, it's a veteran's parade today, so I gave Malachi a bath. This is not a paid advertisement, but uh, if you are washing OD anything that's <laughs> flat, you want to use Dawn dishwashing detergent because if you use something that has a little bit of carnauba or any kind of wax in it, well, it's going to leave all these white specks all over the truck because obviously the wax will not penetrate into the flat paint. So, Veterans Day Parade. Shehalis, here we come. Happy Veterans Day, veterans. Got my propane tank. Got my propane line. Regulator. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Time to hook up. Uh, all right. Time to hook up the gun. Oh, did I give it away? No, the, the tip. That This is the tip that uh, Jim was talking about. Watch this. Time to turn the gas on. I hate it when people do it German tight. Come on, doesn't need to be German tight. All right, Jim, is this what you were thinking of? Yeah, I think this is what you're thinking of, right? This, my friends, is a heat shrink gun. And oh my gosh, is it? Ah. <sighs> Sounds very dangerous, but it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and actually come along with me and let's bend this thing out right, huh? All right. Now that, my friends, is smoking hot. Ooh, yeah. That's how it's done. Uh, this, is all, this also works very good as a, as a paint stripper. Um, 
<laughs> works very good as that. I just started putting gloves on because the heat coming off, it started scorching the front part of my, my fingers. This is looking great. bit more I'm just gonna check to see if anything has changed up here from the come along it's bending this at all and it looks wow that looks really good that looks really good well, this is still a bit hot if you're doing this at home boys and girls be careful this is really hot whoo honey all right, well, it's just a little bit too far there. See that Ooh, that's really, really close. One more thing. That should do it. And that pretty much relaxes the come along as well. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Beautiful. Right on the money. Sweet. Time to tack weld this into place. Yeah. Careful not to burn myself. <laughs> Easier said than done. All right, guys, so before I bend this all the way, as you can see, it's bending actually quite nicely, uh, heating it up with that uh, propane torch. Um, so in order to get these two together, I'm going to have to either cut off this piece or cut off this piece. And I think it's just easier if I nip this edge at uh, a 60 degree and then cut off this part and then um, nip this one at a uh, 60 degree so this will actually come I believe this way and then and then cut all the way down I think that that will marry all this up really nice I'll be able to weld it um, on this line and I think that that will work so time to pull out the cutting wheel again and start some more work I have a sound effect for this. Oh, that's better. Camera magic. 
So this is how it is all going to marry up. Keep your fingers crossed. And let's start heating that end one more and see if I can't get the come along attached to this part. I might be able to brute force it around, but I doubt it. All right, guys, I want to show you just how close I came here with all those cuts. You can see that that is almost lined up, right? You see right up there? I'd say that's about maybe a sixteenth of an inch difference. So I'm liking that. That's, that's pretty dang close. I'm just going to take the jack, jack this up just a little bit, weld that in place. We'll be good. Excuse me, we'll be good to go. Time for another camera magic sound effect. Thank you. All right. It is all welded up, at least the first weld. And I think it is dynamite. Just got to cut this little piece, just a little, just trim it down. I'm going to grind some of the welds to make them look a little prettier and then probably uh, finish weld one more time. But that is looking very, very good. Man, I am just one more step closer to getting that pintle hitch Lynette ring on and getting this thing roadworthy right on. Well, that looks like that's as far as I'm going to get on this video anyway. I have midterms coming up this week, and I'm also staffing a wood badge course. Uh, so if, you, if you're a scouter, then you know what that means. If you're a non-scouter, uh, wood badge is uh, one of the highest levels of leadership training that you can get in scouting. And a lot of the things that we do are very, very similar to the corporate environment. So it's, a, it's an excellent leadership course, and I'm staffing it this year as the senior patrol leader. Yeah! <laughs> so I've got that to take care of this week as well. And, well, it's just a busy, busy week. There's one more thing that I would like to do before, before I go, though. And uh, this is for one of my friends. I'm just going to say his name is B. And he's been a friend of mine since I was in first grade, so it's been a long, long time. This is for you, B. Until next time, I'm Dave Anderson, signing out. You guys be safe out there, and God bless. Six pack. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> this is going to be my cover. Hey guys, I really appreciate you watching this. Thank you so very much for your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe by clicking on my face. And please, if you got something out of it, you learned something, leave a comment, leave a uh, like for me. I really appreciate it. It really helps. Thank you so very much. I'll catch you guys next time.